everybody to turn to page 
Um, but now that Mama's got out there, <laughs> he's a little agitated. <laughs> And Jerry's having something there this week, right? Yes. If none others, we'll go to our birthdays. And today, December the 7th, or December. <laughs> Darlene Gensler. And on the 12th, we had Krista Gunn, who we sung to a couple weeks ago. So, happy birthday again to Krista. Any others that we've missed or any of our visitors have any birthday? Anybody want to stand up with Darlene? <laughs> if none others, let's sing to Darlene. Happy birthday to you.
uh, get the choir up at this time.
Rusty? Where's Rusty? Before y'all dismiss, y'all know that Truel Martin is in the hospital. And if any of you know his favorite song, as far as I know, he's a doing fine. But if any of y'all know his favorite song, sing it before you dismiss. Or if you don't know a favorite song, sing uh, uh, On the Wings of a Dove for him. And I'm sure he will hear it in a way. So do sing him a song. Thank you.
this morning. I'm blessed. Walking into Sunday school and control get my hand. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. I miss that. And I'm thankful that he's on the bend now and it's just going to take a little time. And uh, I, I, I'm just glad that everything went as well as it did with other people. And I know what family is. Just continue to pray for him and for all those who are sick and Pray one for another. <coughs> that uh, we might all do what God requires us to do. <coughs> um, Going to be reading out the book of Ephesians, the fourth chapter. several times over the past several months just where do I fit? Where do I fit? And we I guess Friday as we were we went from playing Barbies to doing whatever Ruby wanted to do. And we started, she wanted to put puzzles together. And we each one had to take a puzzle. Dump it out and begin to put the pieces back in. It's one of them, these harder puzzles that's got everything cut out, kind of, and then there's just, you know, six or seven pieces that fit in. And I watched her as she would take them and look at them and then try to place them. And she just kept working at it until she would get them to fit. That's the life that we're living. Sometimes it's a puzzle. And we just have to figure out where we fit. Church, I want you to know today that we fit wherever God places us. And we all uh -oh. have our part to do. In Ephesians, the fourth chapter, beginning with the first verse. I'm going to read several verses. 
So just bear with me. It says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led the captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all the heavens that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. To all come in unity of faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God, Unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they, lay, they lie awake to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied according to the effectual working in the measures of every part, making increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. <clears throat> and I believe that that's all that I'll read this morning and uh, I'd ask that you might just continue to pray that uh, we all might receive uh, something out of the reading of God's Word that the Lord might richly bless it and uh, that we might all be able to uh, feel uh, something from God's Word that these words might come to life for each and every one of us in uh, our lives today. And, uh, you know, it talks about that it says that we walk worthily of the vocation where the, where, wherewith you are called with all lowliness and meekness and long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Uh, you know, this morning we're each one different, and uh, we each one have our part to do, and uh, we each one have our way of going about uh, trying to do what the Lord has uh, laid on us to do. And, uh, you know, even. Uh, as the choir came up this morning and uh, sitting there and listening to uh, the different voices that come out from among the choir. And uh, maybe there's some that uh, are a little deeper than others and uh, maybe some are uh, tenors, maybe some are uh, sopranos. I don't know all the difference, but it takes each and every one uh, uh, fitly joined together in the choir for it to sound as beautiful as it does when uh, they begin to sing out. And, uh, I'm glad today that uh, we can have little occasions where uh, each and every one can uh, just come together in unity and in that of love. And, uh, listen today, as uh, I mentioned maybe last Sunday, that uh, there's no room for jealousy uh, uh, in the church. Uh, I want you to know today that uh, we should just uh, uh, be willing to 
bearing one another in love uh, uh, today. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, you might be placed with somebody that uh, you may not uh, uh, really like to be around uh, all that much. Uh, uh, but listen, uh, according to God's word, uh, uh, we should be uh, along suffering with that uh, uh, and be willing uh, uh, just to enjoy uh, uh, what he's placed to sin. Uh, and I want you to realize today that uh, there is uh, uh, one body, uh, uh, that's the body of Christ, uh, and we're part of that today. Uh, uh, and it takes each one of us uh, uh, to fulfill what it is that Christ uh, uh, needs to be done uh, uh, here in this world that we live in. Uh, uh, it takes us each one. Uh, it says, uh, uh, one body, uh, uh, one spirit, uh, uh, even as you is called in, your, in the hope of your calling. Uh, uh, one Lord, one faith, uh, uh, one baptism, uh, uh, one God, uh, uh, and Father uh, of all who is above all, uh, uh, and through all, uh, uh, and in you all. Uh, uh, what a blessing that is today uh, uh, that we, uh, uh, we got one God uh, uh, that we serve. Uh, uh, and he's in us all uh, uh, today. Uh, uh, if we uh, uh, will just accept uh, uh, the workings of Christ. Uh, uh, it's not about uh, uh, what we do here. Uh, uh, it's what Christ uh, uh, is doing uh, uh, within us. Uh, uh, so that uh, uh, we can have uh, uh, the puzzle all put together. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, he's not going to lay it all uh, on one person uh, uh, to carry it all uh, uh, here in the flesh. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ uh, uh, was that one person. Uh, uh, he done it all uh, uh, for you and I. Uh, uh, now uh, uh, we uh, are just part uh, of that body. And it takes uh, uh, each one of us uh, uh, to do our part, uh, uh, to be sure uh, uh, that the work uh, uh, that Christ needs uh, uh, to be done is done. Uh, uh, listen today, uh, uh, you might think, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, I don't want uh, uh, to go and do this, uh, uh, to do that. Uh, uh, the Lord's speaking to you, uh, uh, and He's bidding you, uh, uh, He's saying, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, you need to go do this uh, uh, for me. Uh, uh, you're fighting it. Uh, oh, and I want you to know uh, uh, today uh, uh, that his work going to get done. Uh, uh, you may uh, uh, be able to get through life uh, uh, rejecting uh, uh, that of the call uh, uh, that he's laid on you. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, his call uh, uh, will be done. Uh, uh, if you refuse, uh, uh, he will uh, uh, go uh, uh, and find someone else uh, uh, to carry out uh, uh, his his work, uh, uh, but uh, uh, here's the sad side uh, uh, that uh, if you're the one uh, uh, that he's called uh, uh, to go out and to do this work, uh, uh, and you refuse to do it, uh, uh, you're walking away uh, uh, from blessings uh, uh, that the Lord uh, uh, has laid up uh, uh, for you. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, those blessings, uh, uh, they'll be uh, uh, poured out uh, uh, to someone else, uh, uh, and you'll miss out. Uh, Oh, today uh, uh, we're one uh, uh, in the same. Uh, uh, we're equal uh, uh, here. Uh, uh, if you've been saved uh, uh, by the grace of God, uh, uh, we're all the same. Uh, uh, there ain't no big eyes uh, uh, and little you. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, we uh, uh, all uh, uh, have our job to do. Uh, uh, we're part of the puzzle. Uh, uh, and we need uh, uh, to join uh, uh, our pieces together uh, uh, so that uh, uh, we uh, uh, can have uh, uh, a complete adventure. Uh, uh, so that uh, uh, the world can see. Uh, uh, what does it say? Uh, uh, down there. Uh, uh, it talks about uh, uh, those uh, uh, that uh, are trying uh, uh, to deceive. Uh, uh, listen, uh, it's easy to be deceived uh, uh, if you uh, uh, don't have uh, all of your pieces uh, uh, put together. Uh, uh, it's easy uh, uh, to get out of order uh, uh, when uh, uh, things ain't all uh, uh, put together. Uh, uh, the way that they should uh, uh, be. Uh, uh, listen today, uh, uh, we all uh, uh, have a job to do. Yeah. We all are part of the puzzle. We are all part of this walk of life. 
Listen today. Some of us are uh, bold and have the boldness to get up and uh, to say things in front of a crowd. Some of us are bold enough to go out and a witness to a stranger out on the street. Some of us are not uh, uh, that bold. Some of us are a little more meek, uh, a little more mild, uh, a little more laid back. Uh, uh, but we still have our part to do. Uh, uh, we can do that uh, uh, through uh, uh, that of just a kind word, uh, through that of a smile, uh, through that of just being friendly one to another. Uh, uh, listen today. Uh, uh, we all uh, uh, have that part to do. The Bible says that some are uh, called to be teachers, some to be apostles, some to be uh, that of pastors. Uh, some he's called some to be singers. He's called some uh, to play the instruments. He's called some uh, to be prayer warriors. And uh, each one of us has a calling. And, uh, we have to be willing uh, uh, to give in to that calling uh, uh, and not uh, uh, squelch it back. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, Paul says there in one place uh, uh, to pray without ceasing. Uh, uh, listen today, uh, uh, you want to get to know uh, uh, your church family. Uh, uh, you talk to them. Uh, uh, the more you talk to them, uh, uh, the more that you get to know about them. Uh, uh, what do you think uh, about talking to Christ uh, uh, the more we talk to him uh, uh, the better we know him uh, uh, the easier it is uh, uh, to understand uh, uh, what his call is uh, uh, for each one of us uh, if we'll talk to him uh, uh, listen uh, uh, pray without ceasing uh, uh, go uh, uh, with a prayer on your heart uh, uh, listen today uh, uh, it says uh, uh, here it says from uh, uh, whom the whole body fitly joined together uh, and compacted by which every joint supplied according to the effectual working in the measures of every part maketh increase in the body unto the edifying of itself in love of uh, uh, the body of Christ. Uh, uh, when uh, uh, we love each other, uh, when we walk uh, uh, hand in hand with each other, uh, uh, we can be uh, uh, fitting together. Uh, uh, we can be uh, uh, kind-hearted, uh, uh, tender-hearted. Uh, uh, we can be uh, uh, meek. Uh, uh, we can be bold. Uh, uh, and it's not uh, uh, that every one of us uh, uh, is going to have uh, uh, the same things uh, uh, that uh, uh, identify us, uh, uh, but when uh, uh, you put us all together uh, uh, and we all uh, are paddling the boat the same way, uh, uh, guess what? Uh, uh, you can make uh, uh, this journey uh, a lot easier uh, uh, to know uh, uh, that we, uh, we have something come up in our lives and we can turn to our church family and know that they'll be praying Oh, what a blessing it is. Uh, whenever uh, you have that comfort uh, uh, that you know uh, uh, that people uh, uh, will be praying. Uh, uh, and I know uh, uh, right now uh, uh, they're in that hospital. Uh, I'll bet you uh, uh, that Troll Martin uh, uh, is under it. Uh, a little prayer. Uh, uh, you know, uh, he called me uh, uh, New Year's Day. Uh, uh, and uh, he just said, uh, uh, God, uh, uh, something I want to share uh, uh, with you. Uh, and I just went. Uh, uh, we had folks over. Uh, I went and got in the stairwell uh, about halfway up the stairs. Uh, uh, troll. Uh, I wish I, I could understood I, I, everything that he said, I, I, but he was so high on the mountaintop, I, I just shouted I, I, that I, I, the praises of God. I, I, he had me I, I all shouting I, I, there in the house. I, I, what a blessing it is I, I, when I, I, you know I, I, these old saints, I, I, they're praying I, I, for you. I, uh, and they're praying for each one of you. Each one of you. I guarantee you that they are some old saints 
around this community. Unable to be here today and just praying for each one of you out there today so that you might find your place in the puzzle. Whatever it is, whether it be teaching, whether it be singing, whether it be leading this group or that group, whatever it is, I know that you have a place here at Shady Grove and you're needed here at Shady Grove. And the Lord loves you. He cares for you. And he wants you to be fitly joined together, one with another. And it takes us all. It takes us all. And not one of us in here is the same. None of us are the same. We all got our weirdness or quirks or whatever you want to call it. We all got things that uh, maybe uh, you don't like about me. There's things that maybe uh, you don't like. Well, I won't say gender. Everybody loves gender everywhere I go. Everybody <laughs> loves gender. But we all have things that separate us from each other. But at the same time, even though that you may not really like the way that this one over here does something. That's okay. But you grab their hand anyways. And you hold their hand. And you love them. And you just enjoy the talent that they've been given. And when this one over here don't do something the way that you think they ought to, that's okay. That you don't like it, but you grab their hand and you love them anyways. If we can all just join hands together and walk hand in hand, a revival will break out here in Shady Grove and throughout the land. And it'll get outside these doors and uh, we can all uh, rejoice one with another. And these that are out here that are trying to deceive us and uh, deceive that of a lost and dying world, uh, we can defeat them. We can't. We can defeat them. But it's going to take us all walking hand in hand. Because this little puzzle right here has to be together. The other little puzzles around these little, small community churches throughout this land, well, they all got to be fitted together. All the pieces got to be put together. And then before you know it, this little church is fitting together with this little church. And uh, this little church over here is fitting in. And before you know it, uh, we don't have uh, no great big mega church as uh, the world likes to see, but we've got uh, a big church, the body of Christ, Amen. that can defeat the world. Can defeat the world. You're each one part of the puzzle. You're here this morning, you don't know what part of the puzzle you are. You pray, you talk to Jesus, and He'll explain to you what your part is. We each one. Each one have a part to take care of. Don't be the missing puzzle piece. You ever put a puzzle together, one of them big ones, a thousand pieces, and you get right down to that wood, just about got it done, and then all of a sudden there's that one empty spot. One empty spot. Where is that piece? Don't be that missing piece. Don't be that missing piece because until you get that missing piece in, it's not complete. It's not complete. I love you today. I really do. And I thank you for your prayers. I thank you for loving us. And uh, we are so looking forward. So this year here at Shady Grove, how the Lord's going to bless this place, each and every one, each and every one that is here. And when we all get joined together, we're going to 
make some noise Amen. around these parts. And it'll be heard about throughout the land. You let the church have a good meeting on Sunday morning or whatever it is, that news, it does travel. It does travel. Folks hear about it. They won't be a part of it. You invite somebody to come and be with you. They might be the missing piece. They might be the missing piece. But it takes us all. And we all got to paddle the boat the same way. Pulling at it the same way. I heard a man preach one time and he's talking about the bottom rowers. The old ships back in the old days, they had a lower deck. And they all had the rowers. They looked out the little holes on the side and them was the bottom rowers. You didn't see much of them, but there was the men that sat there pulling them over. Get that ship going. You let one of them not be pulling his load. That ship will not go and not run straight and true the way it was set out to go. It takes us all, church. It takes us all. You grab hold of your oar and you paddle uh, straight forward and let's look toward the cross of Jesus Christ and let's just praise him for who he is, what he's done for us, you might think, what has he done for us? He died for us. <laughs> he gave his blood for us. And he arose from the grave for you and I. I read to you where it talks about he also descended. During that time that he was in that tomb, he descended into the depths of this earth and preached his own gospel to those that had never heard it. Why did he do that? Because the Bible teaches us that everyone would hear the gospel at least one time. It's promised. He fulfilled that promise. He went to them and he preached it to them. Listen today. He's preaching it again today all over this land. And it's up to us if we will accept Jesus Christ. If we will accept of what he's done for us. I love you today. Russell, you get your soul. Church, stand your feet. Do whatever the Lord bids you to do. <coughs> Come and pray. Oh, you need to. Whatever it is. Whatever you need to do. I'll do that at this time. While we say, what's your number, Russ? Page 552.
continue to pro, pro, pro those that are homebound and can't be out and about. And, you know, they might have a good day today and a good week this coming week. Uh, and, and just love on each other. And uh, thank you. Thank you for loving us and for being our friend. It means more than you can know. It means more than you can know. They told me. Hey, Mark told me. He said, you're going to love J.D. Rose. And I find that to be so very, very true. How we love Shady Grove. <coughs> and what a blessing y'all are to us. Uh, remember, uh, choir practice, uh, Wednesday at 7, devotion at uh, 6.30. Uh, Chris, you going to be here? <laughs> Chris will be in charge of devotion. No. <laughs> uh, so be very much in prayer, Chris. Come out and be with us. We're having a good time. We really do. And the more that you're around each other, the more you know about each other, and the easier it is. To love each other. Love you. Avery, would you dismiss us this morning? Thank you, Lord, for being gathered in your house today. Remember those that wouldn't have been able to make it more than Just remember, try to take a message we got from you today and the next week and every day. Pray for those that. Thank you for all your blessings. Amen. Amen. Amen.